the Cougars came out roaring in the second half. They weren't about to let their chances for an NCAA final appearance slip by. Here are four Houston shot opportunities. First by Drexler, then by Elijah Wan, and then two more by Drexler. Off of a very aggressive Cardinal defense, cutting the lead to three, 41 to 38. And one minute later, with 16.43 remaining, Michael Young puts Houston ahead for the first time in 10 and a half minutes. Houston, 43, Louisville, 41. But Louisville stormed right back. On one end of the court, it was Scooter McRae battling Akeem. And on the other end of the court, it was the second half of the brother combo. Rodney McRae, who jams home this pass from Lancaster Gordon, nodding the score at 43 with 16.43 remaining. Then two minutes later, it's Charles Jones feeding a wide open Scooter McRae who makes his point clear. And it's now Louisville 51, Houston 45, 14.43 remaining. Momentum had begun to shift towards the Cardinals, and Houston ran into even more misfortune as Larry Mishaw fouled out charging into Charles Jones with 13.28 still left. But then the Jammas of Phi Slamma awoke. Michael Young off of a Drexler alley-oop. The lead is six. Houston 51, Louisville 57. Clyde Drexler off of the fast break. Houston 53, Louisville 57. Then it was Benny Anders' turn, making the steal. Getting the right angle and the right stuff. Houston, 55, Louisville, 57. A minute and a half later, Anders feeds Clyde Drexler for what would become the slam of the game. A double-pumping two-hander. Houston, 60, Louisville, 57. For Louisville fans, smiles were not coming easy, and neither were they for the Cardinal huddle, as Danny Crum called his second timeout. Down by eight, 58-66, with 9.07 remaining. Seven minutes later, a key steal by Scooter McRae. He feeds to Lancaster Gordon, who takes it right at Akeem. The Cougar lead is down to six, 82-76 with 2.25 to go. But that's as close as Louisville could come. Akeem with 21 points, 22 rebounds, and eight block shots makes the score 88 to 80. And then Benny Anders with a slam dunk. Houston 90, Louisville 80. Then the final touch, as if it were rehearsed time and time again. Akeem with the block. And Michael Young with a lofty layup at the buzzer. Houston goes to the NCAA basketball finals for the first time in their history, as they defeat a very talented Louisville squad, 94-81. to for the opening tip. The experts predicted that Jim Valvano would have his cardiac kids take the air out of the ball to control the tempo, but right off the bat, it was clear that Valvano's strategy was to attack. After missed shots at both ends of the floor, Kozell McQueen snagged this offensive rebound off of Thurl Bailey's shot. Then over to Sidney Lowe for a 20-footer. Lowe's shot was up, but close enough for Thurl Bailey to slam it home and give NC State a 2 to nothing lead. After a Houston turnover, Derry Quittenberg came back with a shot just a bit off the mark. But Lorenzo Charles had the inside edge and gave State a surprising 4 to nothing lead. Another Cougar turnover gave NC State the chance to go up six to nothing. A chance Thurl Bailey gladly capitalized on. But the Cougars quickly put some numbers in their scoring column with the patented smooth moves of Clyde Drexler.
inside finesse of Larry Misha. Guy Lewis's kids were on the move, playing a fast break style that NC State had to stop. After down six to nothing, Houston comes back to take its first lead as Michael Young gets his own rebound and puts in the follow-up, giving the Cougars a one-point edge at seven to six. The Houston surge was not just a product of good offense. Their tenacious defense forced the Wolfpack into a four-minute scoring void. But even though NC State was having their hands full of the Cougar defense, Houston was also having a tough time converting, here missing on four inside attempts. With just under 9.30 left in the first half, and NC State leading 12-11, the big men for both teams started their moves. Thurl Bailey goes over Elijah Wan for two. But then Elijah Wan does the same on the next possession. But the inside game of the pack was limited, as Akeem the Dream often never left his feet to block the Wolfpack shots. Realizing the force was inside, Balvano had his troops try it from the outside. And no better choice than dead-eye Terry Gannon, who hit 59% from the ACC 19-foot three-point line during the season. Gannon, with this basket, gave NC State a 5-point, 20-15 lead with 6-15 remaining in the first half. But soon, the big men took control again. Houston's Elijah Wan was able to break loose upon the realization that Derek Wittenberg was a weak link in state's zone defense. On the other end of the court, Thurl Bailey showed his flair for the jumper with two quick outside releases, one from the wing, and another off a quick outlet pass from Kozel McQueen. This one gave the Wolfpack a 7-point, 26-19 lead with 3.46 left in the half. With 2.47 left in the first half, All-American forward Clyde Drexler picks up his fourth foul, a costly mishap that would force Drexler to stay on the bench much of the second half. And as time expired in the first half of this NCAA championship game, NC State had a surprising 33-25 lead.